Well, hello, gamers, uh, and hello, Claire Mouse. How are you? Yo, Dante. Uh, I am super, super hyped. Uh, <laughs> we got we got Andy and Jem. Uh, excuse me. We have Jem. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do uh do you know what time it is? What time it's for? No, no, Dante. What time is it? Bingo. What time is it for? Bingo! Bingo, oh, Bingo yeah. time. Let's Heck go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna get ready and roll. Uh, these guys are counting down. They've got about another 20 seconds real time, so the stream will have to catch up. But we're going to go decide this tournament here today. The I doubt, tournament. The I doubt they tie. Final. I Look, doubt they tie, leave, but crazier things some, have happened. Some, yeah, I, well, I mean, you know, we, we saw what happened in games one and two, you know, and uh, well, those of you, you know, the fact that we're even here for game three means that, well, that means that Andy and Jen both took a game each. That's why we're here in the best of three mm -hmm. game three grand finals. Andy took the first game. Uh, actually was a very, very strong performance on Andy. Jem uh, didn't really even give Jem uh, that much of an opportunity to uh, to come back. Jem, though, uh, you know, pulled himself by his, well, bootstraps in this case and, you know, took off game two. And now here we are. Uh, amazingly going in the opposite direction. Yeah. Uh, this is a little different than normal. Um, mm -hmm. I've been used to seeing them kind of do the exact same thing. Maybe a little bit of metagaming going on here. Yeah, this, um, is, this is bingo, yep. And this is lockout bingo. This is like super stressful, right? Because, you know, once somebody marks off a square, that's not available for you anymore. So you really gotta, you know, make sure time is of the essence for you. You gotta hope, you gotta, well, hope that you're fast enough, but also mm -hmm. you, you pick the goal uh, and get that before your opponent. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, we got red 20s at the crab. So that's kind of useful in this type of, type mm -hmm. of seed. Uh, I haven't really paid too much attention to the card yet, but I'm wondering yeah, if... we were supposed to read this. We <laughs> were, we awesome. were. So, have a drink is one. Uh, follower to catfish, obviously that's a thing. Uh, you know, we've kind of seen a lot of these by now, but uh, is, is drop downs a thing? I'm assuming drop downs I mean, is on here be. somewhere. It must be, because, you know, this is clearly what Gem is doing, and I very, very much doubt that he, they would be doing something um, if it wasn't, you know, explicitly required. I don't actually see a gamble game anywhere, so, you know, that's, I think historically, that's something that Gem has at least done. You know, especially in games one and two, there was both the drop downs and uh, the gamble game, and uh, that's, and the drop downs were what Andy went for first, and Gem went to the mm -hmm. gamble games. Bottom right, okay. left one. Thank you, Sleepy. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Well, with that, you know, Gem is already on the board. It's usually pretty fast. You know, sphere, well, zero check in this case. Uh, goal in order to obtain. You see Andy going and talking to some fortune tellers. That must be also related to a goal somewhere. I'm sure I can find it or somebody in chat can help me find it. <laughs> but yeah, just remember this is keys in some way, shape or form. Bulky sanity. Seven crystal GT mm -hmm. entry. This is not, you know, this is not mystery. This, oh man. this it's is not four hours. Not mystery. Yes. If these guys take four hours on this particular game three, we uh, may have had like several restarts or something. By the way, Andy picked up a bottle with a red potion. You said something about take a drink at the tavern, is that what you said? Uh, yeah. So might be time to bomb yourself and then hope for the best. Oh, my goodness. See? Andy is already thinking ahead. Yeah, so it looks like this case right. So like the, the bingo board is uh, slightly ahead of, um, of of I guess like the restream itself. So yeah. the, I mean, but it's only like a couple. It's only a couple seconds. But in this case, you just see in this case uh, on stream confirmed that Andy in fact did uh, get a drink from the potion. We actually see Gem, uh, amazingly going into Chicken Hut. If those of you might have seen Game Two, Andy somehow never went to the dam like ever. Uh, that is book. And uh, Gem never went to Chicken Hut, ever, and that has Bombos, which was a minor Italian entry. <laughs> uh, that really cost them, actually, quite a bit of time for both. Could have really finished the game a bit faster if they had Amazing. just gotten those respectful results. <laughs> yeah, I mean, game two was the epitome of metagaming gone wrong. Oh my gosh, uh, yes. <laughs> so, uh, Jim coming out the victor there. Yeah. But this, you know, now we're here for all the marbles. Uh, you know, there's massive internet clout available yes you know <laughs> um for the inaugural blackout bingo champion 
Uh, lockout bingo. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Oh, yeah. It, blackout, no. lockout. I, it, one of those outs. It, I got you know, it wrong. It's, 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 well, the, the board itself is black, and we do have to get, you know, a good number. Like, well, I, th I think the True. last time we actually did end up filling in the entire board, uh, for what it's worth. <laughs> yeah, we did get pretty close. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, especially if you saw, you know, Andy versus the lane um back in uh the semis we we that one was down to the wire in game one. Oh right oh yeah yeah i definitely remember this but by the way um so i think jen went into the well without a bomb did you see what andy got in the bomb lock location oh, of the i did and <laughs> so oh my gosh that's oh. something if you're jim you don't want to see ha if you're rooting for jim you don't want to see happen because he's probably going to last location that um and you just, you don't want it to happen. It's Dark certainly... World's so crucial here. Mm hmm yeah. Now, now for what it's worth, right? Um, there are not a lot of locations in Light World. The fact that it is a pearl of all things, right? Probably, you know, it's not going to be like the worst last location. You know, if you're going to last location, try to do it early and try to do it, you know, uh, basically before Dark World, which in this case, this mm -hmm. is what happens to when you are yeah. in uh, what they affectionately call degenerate routing, you know? Yeah, you always have to like route stupidly, for lack of better phrasing, yeah. <laughs> in this type of mode. Mm -hmm. Oh, anything big? It, it's not actually that big, honestly. I kind of feel like it's more pocket size, but yeah, it is the pearl, by the way, in the back of uh, the bomb lock location in the well. And yes, Levy also pointing out uh, that, uh, well, so I don't think Gem has been to Lost Woods yet, but yes, there is also Bombos, which is, um, I guess, uh, car whatever, the, just as the way the things are in Bingo and Gem, you know? <laughs> mm hmm Well, uh, here we are, Mini Moldorm. Andy down to four bombs. Should be okay. Does get another one down, not the double, though. Uh, does want to come out of here with at least one potentially for Ice Rod. Is going to be able to come out of here with two. Jim going to peek the sunken treasure for a small key. Going to grab it. Meanwhile, small keys. Andy picking one up in for Meyer. Ba uh, pod big as well. Yeah. Overall, not too bad of a haul, honestly, in Mini Molder. I mean, just uh, nothing really immediately useful for us because, you know, as you mentioned, we got some, we got some keys. Uh, we do actually in this have a, what is it, bridge shield, I think, on Andy's side? Yes. Oh, and, and speaking of Andy, we're going to go check the dam, maybe? Maybe get a couple extra dollars? Do you blame uh, him way, yeah. after last time? No, no, no I, I cannot. In, in fact, uh, for those of you also who are maybe part of game two, Andy bought the 500 red fire shield from the curiosity shop and that led Jem to believe that he bought Zora instead and yeah as you mentioned right meta gaming gone spectacularly dumpster fired mm -hmm. <laughs> for for everybody oh it was it was comical all right yeah speaking of the, yeah andy's gonna actually go check the damn it is not gonna be a book today um yeah unlike i think the previous maybe like last two times or something Uh, Gem also using the red boomerang very, very effectively or efficiently. Um, you know, he's already been part of avian art as well, uh, doing a lot of pots and bones, with lots of ex uh, experience now and practice with the red boomerang. You would actually see in this case, we are on four hearts, so we're not necessarily going to die immediately to a crab, but, uh, you know, it, it could be a, Ooh, it now we'll die immediately to a crab. See, yeah, see, it's very easy to just get one, two comboed right there. Uh, you know, Andy uh, certainly, you know, might have a little bit more, no, you know, more high profile experience with Ice Rod Cave and crabs, but, you know, uh, it, it can certainly happen to everybody. The pink camouflage won't do you any good here. It's true. Speaking of, we're checking some more out of the way locations on Andy's side. Uh, you don't usually get to see often Agina, um, you know, or apparently Chicken Hut, you know, or anything like that, um, because <laughs> just like the, you know, the amount of time it takes, you know, that it takes to to, op to do one of these checks, you you gotta you gotta really prioritize, you know, your uh, your decisions. You really do. Uh, mm -hmm. Jim deciding he's gonna do waterfall fairy here. Uh, Andy gonna do back of escape. Jim already popped into here, but these are some okay. new checks on Jim's side. 50 bucks and a small key out of Logic 2 TR. Not useful yet, but could be useful. Uh, yeah, that's actually, that's three total found between the two of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was actually just gonna say that. So right, so the second uh, turtle rock small key that Jim got uh, is not is not the second turtle rock small key that Andy has. So combined, 
uh, with the one common one that they got somewhere else in Kakariko. Yeah, it's, it's three early, you know, small TR keys. That, that's mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. and, you know, as you mentioned again, you know, we don't have Dark World access yet. And, you know, we are actually still pretty far from getting into Turtle Rock. We're going to need not only push traditional Dark World access, we are going to need everything. You know, we're going to need Hammer, Mitts, that medallion may actually be the ticket in. We don't know. Uh, we also are going to need one of those swords to get in as well. You know, we, we need a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, Hera, our green pendant today. Uh, right. Runners kind of converging here in Saha's closet. Mushroom for Jim, a single arrow, and a small key to Hyrule Castle. I guess that puts mm -hmm. Castle in logic, mm -hmm. but eh, do you want to go to Hyrule Castle? Yeah, well, no, not really. I mean, and I understand that these guys are certainly very you know, good at doing you know, Dark Rooms and stuff. Dark Cross technically is still not in logic. We don't have a lamp yet. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, we actually don't know right now where our Dark World access is. I know both of them have a glove. Andy certainly has a, um, at least temporary, advantage over gem for getting that moon pearl in from the bomb lock location in the well so yeah. like i mean you know but the hammer or the other glove could just be completely you know not in this world right we could still go and you know in this case if it happens to be an agassi maybe you want to delay it you know a little bit to try and combine yeah. the castle. and uh i mean i gotta say this game so far i mean we're 10 minutes in in the games one and two there was so much chaos early on it's been mm -hmm. pretty calm all things considered so we may be in for a bit of a slog here but you know we may see this may be one of those linear deals where we kind of know early on who may be the one taking it yeah 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 and I, and as you as you mentioned right even even if it's something more linear in the early like in the early game uh whoever still gets dark world first has you know um as you said, a, a pretty pretty strong advantage there's always going to be those like early even just like we thought saw a lot of sphere one or sphere zero light world car mark uh, on the bingo board that we can get yeah dark world's gonna be the exact same situation right so the first one in I mean, it doesn't matter even how slim your margin is that is your you know that is your advantage Well, uh, you know, I like when they're like this close. I hate it when we're trying to find new and exciting things because mm -hmm. uh, there's not much to talk about. Now, I guess the good news right now with not finding a whole lot is that Jim is going to get funneled back into Hyrule Castle. But if a hammer shows up here, oh, Jim is out of here. Yeah, is Jim Andy going to bail? No, Andy's going. Yeah, okay. and so and this is also pretty interesting as well, right? Because, I mean, like... Of course, certainly, the vanilla big key chest is uh, something that's still attainable by Andy, but of course, it's not going to be in logic. Now, Jem might feel a little mm, uh, regretful, maybe, if in this case a lamp does show up. Andy, you know, certainly very capable of doing these dark rooms, um, so he's going to make this check. But I mean, that being said, though, you know, this is certainly not uncommon for people to skip out of this check. It is like a mm -hmm. whole minute, right, worth of time just for one location. But yeah, as you mentioned, though, if, if, if this is like the hammer, this is the other glove, uh, this is even a cape, right, or something, right? And then the lamp is just somewhere out there in the world, in the in light world, right? You're just yeah. gonna feel so good. I was about to say, or it could just be here, you know, at uh, <laughs> at uh, race game, but um, yeah. <laughs> it is a key. Jim will probably go back for that. Uh, I know yeah, Andy checked. Okay, not gonna get that now, but I get he's probably getting his pearl here, so this will be good. Um, you know, is gonna lose some time here. But kind of negating it out with the save and quit, or rather, uh, yeah, from bailing out of Eastern early, as we see, you know, mm -hmm. no progression in that chest. So Andy has some decisions to make. You know, he's got Ice Rod Cave still uh, looming, and that maybe we're, we're where not, he's we're headed. We're not gonna go to the well, Dante. I, I hate to, you know, for again, if you're rooting for Jim, oh Jen, no, uh, to go uh, further south. Uh, the good news uh, is that he's at least gonna get bombos, but yeah, I, I am, um, you know, that that pearl is more like a fever dream at this point. Um, that at least will be delayed a bit more. Well, he will, he will get it. I can guarantee that. He will, yes. I, I believe you are absolutely correct. He will eventually get it. He will just might feel kind of terrible about it. All right, so pearl yes. guys is uh, to answer some questions coming through chat. It is in the back of the well. Jim dropped in without a bomb and is paying the price. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's 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 pretty bad. And I think one of them is I think Jen ended up I mean, where did he come from? Did he come from the south or something? Or maybe like Andy when he go well, he went to Lost Woods first, right? And then, mm -hmm. you know, he also did Bonka Bomb from the bombable like well, the, the bombable thing next to the fortune teller. So Andy was actually able to guarantee himself some bombs. Right, um, right. And and Jem just I think went straight into Kakariko after doing the drop downs. Uh, probably from the well. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's right. That's part of the reason, right? Because you go drop down to the well. Mm -hmm. And mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> how it's, how punishing it's can one location crazy. be? Crazy. Just... It's crazy how like just things you see differently in in Bingo versus you know regular rando. But hey, I mean, that's why we've got it. Bingo. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think it would be, for what it's worth, it would be slightly less stressful if it were like, you know, Blackout, Triple Bingo, you know, any type of these versions where both runners can, you know, can in fact get the same square, right? You know, just because, even, yeah, okay, yeah, like you did last location, you're going to be a little bit behind, you know, getting some of the goals because you mm -hmm. can't get to the Sphere of Zero or Ones first in Dark World, for example, but the point is you can at least get them, right? And then you kind of don't really know what kind of happens, right? But once, in this case, you miss it on the goals, you have to go find yeah. something else to do, right? And that can actually be, once you've already certainly, you know, for even made some investment into stuff to do, it's, it's much harder in order to go achieve those, like, later goals. Oh, most definitely. I kind of get the feeling we're going to find, like, a hammer down here. Um, and then, luckily, that won't lock Jim out too much. Like, if we get a lamp, then we got to look up the mountain, potentially. Um, yeah, yeah. Flute uh, flute or lamp would certainly give them more access. But, yeah, you're, you're right, though. Like, we don't have a hammer. We don't have a mirror. We don't have a hook shot, right? The mountain's kind of limited, right? We can't even get to hair. Oh, well, we, we, we just, just get mitts. We just mitts. That's fine, too. <laughs> That's uh, nice and fun. We'll take that. Yeah, and so with this though, that's going to be Andy's Dark World access. So he, so once mm -hmm. in this case, uh, Andy starts marking things off in Dark World, which you know, presumably, I don't even know what he's going to first be doing. Uh, but this is going to be maybe one of those uh, clues on to Gem, you know, where it's like, okay, Andy has Dark World access. He has the mitts already. Or right, where's this pearl? Probably one of the locations that I, you know, had not checked. Right, and yeah. I don't. So he's he's got one left. Uh, Agina, back of the well. Um, he doesn't have a lamp necessarily, so you Ooh, know maybe Andy's maybe he's gonna healing. be falling. Okay, all right. So Andy. that time that Jim got back mm -hmm. in Eastern, Andy kind of taking some time back too. We know from our vantage point, it's not gonna burn him, but like you can kind of see that look on Andy's face when he did it. It's like, yeah, yeah. you know, all right, well, I guess we're doing this. Like, you know, mm -hmm. it, it's a little bit of doubt. You just kind of have to roll with it. Uh, Compass in King's Tomb for Jim. Andy not doing that either. He's just headed to Dark World. So maybe yeah, this is oh, the yeah. follower to Catfish deal? Or uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think I that's think what it is. Mm -hmm. I think it's actually very reasonable, you know, it's because uh, we, we have the mitts for once as opposed to just like the glove and the hammer. So yeah, it is going to be able to pick up the smith. Uh, you eventually and you know I, you know he, there might be a fortune teller goal at some point possibly i'm waiting to see something else light up they've kind of lulled me to sleep like i don't even have the notepad to change the the things on anymore mm -hmm. Yeah, but in this case, once he ends up picking up the smith, uh, and of course you can run anywhere with the smith at full speed, you know, you don't, you don't have to, like, walk the purple chest down, you don't gotta, you know, like, uh, well, hold right, you know, when you're walking down old man or anything like that, you know, so, should be, should be pretty fast. Alright, so Jim now knows Andy's got something. Mm -hmm. Okay, what does that Bingo Square actually say? Buy an item at one shop in Light World and Dark World. So. Ah, perfect. Okay, so that means that yes, uh, Gem in this case does know that Andy has Darkhold access. So right now he even he is really on the lookout basically for that pearl, right? The hammer, uh, even if he does find it here, let's say on Zora, which is going to be, well, pretty amazing. Thank you, Solsky, if that happens. Uh, but he is really kind of trying to stuff out that pearl because that is you know his one ticket basically into Dark World. And you guys should see already Andy taking an early lead here. You know, three to one already. Three, three to two. two. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, you know, he's marking up all of these early, you know, Dark World uh, goals here that, you know, Jem basically doesn't have an opportunity to get anymore. Jem also looks like he's uh, just reset. Yeah, he's going to get his money back. That's mm -hmm. it's smart to do. Uh, so Andy probably is like, all right, 
that's you know a dead item to me now at this point uh zora you know andy could have potentially like if he had the cash he could have doubled down and got two goals at one moment there but well, you know, for what it's worth, uh, the goal does say buy a red shield or a Zora. So Andy could think from game two's experience. He could. He to the curiosity shop instead of Zora. For what it's worth, uh, the curiosity shop is actually a bit closer. It takes less time to go get a few mm -hmm. money, which is what probably Andy was doing. However, though, Zora does have the opportunity to give you an actual item. So, you know, but speaking of, all right, well, speaking of uh, the other, you know, uh, dark side of the fish, Andy is uh, heading over to not Zora, but Catfish with his follower. Very mm -hmm. nice card jump on, Air on, on Andy's side. Almost, almost got a hug that we, you know, yeah. we, yeah. we don't want. <laughs> Wrong former pug there almost, but mm -hmm. you know, it's easy to make that mistake. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, is Catfish going to be an item we, we want, you know, like that could be huge. Uh, cause like, you know, we saw so many races in this tournament, like decided by, uh, this type of scenario where, you know, progression is here, like a major piece of progression. Yeah. Yeah. That's also true. And I think, is there also a die to catfish? There is, right? There is. So he's going to be mm -hmm. able to really rack up, uh, which, you know, Jim scrounging for a moon pearl right now, the longer yeah, this goes on, mm -hmm. the more he's going to kind of be like, you know, what is happening? What do I do here? Yeah, I, I agree. So hopefully he's going to figure out that in this case, Agina is nothing that we do know. And hope he's going to remember in this case that the only location that he has remaining, I think, at this point uh, is going to be, well... Uh, the back of the ball. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's it is such a it's such a punishing skip. It seems like every single time a gem has skipped something in bingo, it is like, I mean, it hasn't necessarily maybe burned him per se because you know he was lacking bombos, but at the same time, like man, he's always been some major item, you know. Yeah, it's super unfortunate. Mhm. Mm all right. Well, there. By the way, so so in this case, Catfish threw a bomb at us as opposed to a fireball. So good on Andy. At least to eat, leave, leave in last minute adjust himself. You know, to not use the fire shield. Uh, in this case, it would have taken him a bit longer in order to die to Catfish because mm -hmm. the fire shield is extremely effective. You know, it is. Catfish's, uh, half of his arsenal. Well, we are going to get the Smith turn in the the. I, will, I don't want to call it the old-fashioned way because it's not vanilla, but no mirror, so we're going to do it the long way. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now Jim has to kind of decide, all right, what am I doing uh, with this seed? Because Andy's been in Dark World ahead of me, done some off-the-wall things, so I'm pretty sure he's like, all right, hopefully there's no progression there. Because he's definitely not out of this, as we see oh, him get sure. you know, a third item here. Yeah, it looks a like third he got goal. a yeah, both a bee and a fairy. Um, he released both of them, so that's pretty cool. Or he's going to. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, I think Andy also did this as well. Or he at least went to the curiosity shop. Uh, yeah, he went there to buy an item. I don't think he mm -hmm. released. He didn't get the fairy from un, like uh, last chest of Zelda Cell in Escape. Right, right. Yeah, so I think he was potentially going to the curiosity shop to maybe buy himself a fairy just in case, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, like, in Ego, there are a lot of places that you can actually end up getting a fairy from. Uh, if you find the bug net, for example, so those free fairies basically anywhere. Uh, anytime you go to, this case, waterfall fairy, pyramid fairy, uh, you know, like, there are a lot of opportunities for you to get something. Yeah, you just find and another fairy in a bottle, right? That's exactly what Jem did. All right, so it looks like Andy is yeah buying up a bunch of hints. I did we did see him do a bunch of stuff. Uh, fortune teller, NPCs. There must be something on this board that I'm not currently reading. Must be a heart refill here. Probably trying to do what Jim is attempting to do here. Um, <laughs> so cute. But we are in nice. sync. It's going to be a yeah. bit of a race. Who can get to? I believe they're trying to do the. Oh god, Jim. Okay, I'm luckily. I'm so scared. I'm so oh. scared. <laughs> so yeah, Jim this is gonna be, oh, might this is gonna actually be, be he gets it just ahead of him. Oh, was that the head shake? Is that Now, we're going to see it here. Now, Jim's stream is just a touch more delayed. Yeah, there's the there's the frustration from Andy. Oh no. All right. Well, you know, we're we're, you know, we're we're closing up the gaps here. Oh, Andy, Andy took a death. <laughs> 
Oh no, it's not cry crab. You know, this is this is not inverted. All right, this is just some unfortunate luck. It's a very funny looking crab though. Sorry guys. Mm, man. So Dante, did you happen to roll the seed? Because I haven't no. found or seen any swords yet, Dante. No, I did not. <laughs> but um. But this yeah. is also not. Yeah. Well, uh, well, maybe we're gonna get one of those pointy things that can help in this case with some offense as well as some defense. I'm sure both of them are very eager to use that Bombos medallion in order to go kill more things. Andy cleaning up some light world checks here that Jim has already done. Jim oh, going to Skull Woods. Clear mouse. Why is Jim in Skull Woods? Well, you, you know how he last located that pearl, and then he must be feeling like, I'm desperate? Um, that's mm. actually probably one of the only reasons why you want to come to Skull Woods, you know, uh, in this particular situation. You know, he already kind of saw Andy get, you know, a good number of early checks. Like, Andy was extremely efficient, right? Uh, just the bingo board is very nice in that we had mid Starkworld access, yeah. which means we can go get the smith very quickly. Uh, not only, of course, you bring a cow follower catfish, you can also die to catfish as well. So, like, there are, you know, you can combine in this case, like, three goals at once. Going to catfish itself just for one goal. It is one goal, but it's still very slow, right? And it was, like, very lucrative. As yeah. you said, once you get Dark World Access first, like, that is something you're able to do. Do we have anything as far as... No, it doesn't look like we have anything regarding uh, maps and compasses, because I know they've had a lot of them. Mm-hmm, yeah. That also may be one of the reasons why, you know, Gem and Andy both didn't, at least especially Gem, didn't get the, li the library map. Yeah, probably so. so... But Jim taking a ride out of here. Uh, Andy going to be right behind him, you know, so no time wasted here mm -hmm. uh, by Jim. He doesn't know that. He's probably still feeling like what's crazy about this is like if you are, you know, on the, the wrong end, like Andy was of getting sniped on a goal, uh, you know, you feel bad. But like the this like satisfaction of sniping somebody potentially or getting that goal, it, oh, you don't really yeah. have that. Like Jim just was like, all right, we got the goal. Keep moving. Much more of a reaction it's from true. Andy because of yeah. the knowledge. No, that's that's definitely no, that's that's actually like a really really good point. Like just from like a runner's perspective, yeah. Like you don't know where. Okay, you have maybe some sense of where your opponent is, right? For when Jem first obviously got into uh, got his pearl, saw what you know Andy has marked off with the goals, right? He's like, okay, probably mm -hmm. village Valcast, uh, probably turned the Smith, you know, went to Catfish. So that's probably like where he is. Uh, so maybe he don't has want, wants to go do something else. But yeah, you don't know where your opponent is in terms of even getting the goal, right? Yeah, yeah, for all, absolutely. For all Jem knew. Uh, Andy didn't even wasn't even trying for that goal, you know. Like it just happens if yeah. we can see both screens. <laughs> now this is something Jim did oh, not do, which is vanilla big key chest in Skull Woods. Oh. As we see the flute pulled from the brewery. Mm hmm. Yeah, that is certainly going to be a really nice find. You know, anything of course that you know, improves your overworld movement. We don't have a mirror yet, so we can't necessarily just kind of get back into uh, light world easily to go activate it. I was actually thinking mm -hmm. earlier, like, maybe if we had the flute to, you know, in the light world, you can bring Jem back into Kakariego to go get his, you know, well faster, or his pearl faster, but uh, we already went there to go check Sakit, and, you know, well, clearly it yeah. was not enough for him to go back to the well, so. Could be better, could be worse, mm -hmm. uh, but now keep an eye on their health here. They are going to be yeah, wanting yeah. to maximize the number of hearts they can get, with that being one of the squares on the board today mm -hmm. uh jim with a slight lead in that regard but just three here in thieves town gonna be just a map to mire i'm pretty sure we'll see andy following suit here yeah yeah and i think right i think even from well andy certainly knows that he has not done like the rest of the village of outcast jim probably also guessed that andy has not done the rest of the village as well you know just because he saw how fast in this case like the mm -hmm. follower goal and you know going to catfishes he knows how you know has a rough idea of how much time it'll take probably didn't have enough time in this case to you know kind of explore the rest of the village speaking of heart health though you know andy again with those extra heart, with that extra heart piece you know i certainly taking the refill early yeah, getting it before going into Thieves, also helping him out a little bit, but uh -huh. dig game time for Jim. This does not count, obviously, towards the dig goal. Right. We're going to have to, you know, get our own shovel. We can't just rent one. We have to either find it or steal it or, you know, so we have to call it our own. And this one, you have to give back after 30 seconds maximum. I could call it my own, but it just, it, <laughs> yeah. it, it doesn't matter. That's true. That's true. Big Ooh, key for... Swamp. 
Interesting. Interesting. And frustration for Andy with that flute. He, he didn't look happy to see that. No, no, that is pretty unfortunate because I mean, like if you just took the little bit of time in mm -hmm. order to go get the brewery, right? When you came back to the light world with the Smith, you could have just activated it immediately, right? It's not yep. like he was in any rush to go turn the guy in. Um, but yeah, I mean, like these things you don't know, right? Andy does not know that Jeb last located his pearl in the back of the well. So if he knew that, of course, I think he would have taken like, you know, significantly probably more time than anything else. Well, we go further. Yeah, Pipe cave yeah. time. Coming yeah, up no, soon. No hammer. Yeah, no hammer. It looks like Jeff is going to go get some 5 6 crystal knowledge. Oh, or we're going to just go buy some bombs because we also didn't have any skull and swamp. Okay, there is a three crystal goal uh, on the bingo board. There's also complete three dark world dungeons. We are lacking. Mucho uh, for basically any dungeon entrance or access. Um, yeah, right we now. have like <laughs> nothing in all honesty. Uh huh. So yes, we are lacking, yeah, m m much. <laughs> oh, and we do have a pair of gold. Thanks, Sigma. Yeah. So we do have a pod small. There's a hook shot. That's our mountain access and the big key to thieves. So I guess it's time to head to the Where's mountain. The I mean, you just go, I think you just go back and you don't go to thieves per se. You don't have a hammer. I, I'd say you wait. Oh, you just, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go mountain. Uh, I don't see Hook the fairy cave pot, so that's not going to be a free score for Jim. Oh, right, right. That was on their last bingo board. <laughs> Yeah. Like, you know, you know, by the way, for those people who say like sea bleed, like, you know, uh, or, you know, whatever, like, isn't real, it. When you're playing two back to back anything, like it is very much real to be mm -hmm. able to just forget everything that you had before and then just focus on the game here. Now, I guess one thing to consider there is a goal here three potions, like different ones at the same time. So Andy has already skipped a bottle. Now, obviously, Jim Ooh. doesn't know that. Mm -hmm. Andy doesn't know he skipped a bottle. But that being said, like that goal's probably going to be impossible for Andy to do. It's going to be very unlikely we find you know, the other two that are still at large. Mm -hmm. oh, Plausible, yeah. but just not guaranteed. Yeah, right. And the fact that, like, we did, as you mentioned, saw the bottle that Jem got in Zelda Cell, which uh, I I cannot imagine a scenario until, well, probably towards, like, the end game where both of them just kind of scrambling uh, in order for Andy to go back to Zelda Cell. Like, that is not going to be something uh, mm -hmm. of, of any priority to him. So yeah, the fact that we already kind of know where one bottle is, is really going to preclude Andy from probably trying to get, you know, that because he has to get the only one remaining, right? And yeah, uh, it's going to be quite difficult. All right, first couple chests here in Paradox, just going to be a heart container, but that is good news for Jim as he will be getting closer and closer to mm -hmm. that 11 heart goal. Right, Andy getting the knowledge as well about the five, six crystals. Three more chests here in Paradox of Compass to Turtle Rock. Big key. You love seeing those. To Meyer. Yeah, that's actually going to be a big 300 yeah, bucks. Big key. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, we, we're still lacking many things. Now, for what we can actually get to the Meyer area now with those mitts and with the flutes, uh, we still can't get into Meyer for multiple reasons. We don't have a sword to, you know, activate any medallion. Uh, we mm -hmm. may not even have the medallion for Meyer. I guess we don't know that. We don't have the knowledge quite yet. Uh, of course, we don't have Samaria in order if we want to go beat it. Now, for what it's worth, though, you know, if you're willing to double dip the dungeon just for the big chest. Uh, you know, there is uh, a open six big chest square on the bingo board. Um, certainly could still be worth your investment. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, Jim's got six items coming up here on Dark Death Mountain, as well as some knowledge potentially of TR if he decides to check it. Uh, Andy gonna walk this chest on over back to Kakariko. Yeah, um, I think he wants to try wants and flute. activate the flute. Yeah. Thank, thank, thank goodness we found the hookshot, by the way. <laughs> hey, uh, there's a hammer on oh, Jim's wow. side. So hammer right. obtained. Now is a good time to head back to Thieves Town potentially. Mm -hmm. Well, so, okay, so, so Danny, like, looking at the board, is that going to be something that you want to go get? I guess it, it works towards both complete dark, dark hole dungeons and crystals. I guess we don't know what these town is, maybe. I'm just wondering, I, you know, if you true, want to true. try and go do something else, you know? Jim getting heart eight at that 
heart container grab. Small key to TR as well. Two more to go. Got to get a heart piece. That increases that health just ever so slightly. And hey, there's our swingy. Oh my gosh, yeah. What a loaded Dark Death Mountain for, for John. We got the hammer. We got the sword. Uh, we do, of course. Okay, technically, we don't have to be Ganon, so maybe we don't need, you know, all the way up to Master Sword. But, you know, if we were going to go and get some of these dungeons, you know, uh, Skull Woods, Mire, Tartarock, mm -hmm. maybe even the late angle if you want to go do that, you, you're going to need that sword. And no payout there for that time investment mm -hmm. on purple chest. Ether is our requirement for Meyer. Now, Jim did not check TR. We still don't know that one. TR is probably dead to Jim in a way. Good, um, good point. I did not actually realize he didn't check it, but you are absolutely correct. Normally, oh my gosh, we just coming up to start here. <laughs> Another one. Oh, Another one. When it when it rains, it all Andy. Wow, what a gamer! Holy cow. Andy having. A moment there. That hook shot, uh, MV hook. I don't know, MVH. I, I don't know. I mean, that it, thing saved his life. It good. It good. It we'll good. go, we'll it go does, with that. It, it do it good. And that, yeah, unfortunately, the B in the bottle, you know, for Andy, isn't really gonna do him anything right now. You know, it's it's really just for for companionship. Mm hmm. All right. Again, be able to get another heart container in addition to these pot hearts for Andy. Certainly going to be, you know, a bit of a comfort, yeah. you know, not necessarily being on um, one hit KO. Also, oh. he's going to be able to, if he chooses, not to bomb jump, you know. Jim scaring me that Zyzak, like, was so close he could, like, reach out and tap him on the shoulder, but Jim <laughs> dashed away at the perfect time. Not, yeah, imagine being able to have a sword, let alone two of them, to be able to just dash through things. It's so nice. All right, will Andy do Spiral Cape here? He's going oh, for the hover. Point. Gonna do it. Easy. All right, easy so hover. Again, could be more time for Jim if this comes up empty, because Jim did not do this. Also, though, could actually be you know quite a time, you know, a big swing for Andy if something here is a Spiral Cape. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, we are, we're, you know, again, we're still lacking despite having you know, to jump outing like two swords and the hammer in the last, let's say, a couple minutes. Still lacking. Mucho, you know, uh, in order to get into anything. We don't have a mirror. Uh, we don't have flippers. We don't have a bow. We don't have either rod. Like, these are all pretty, you know, high value things here. And we're missing a ton of keys, too. Mm-hmm. Good reminder. It is a key sanity, with the exception of the Aga Tower keys. Uh, always uh, ooh, that's ooh, a... That is actually a very good find for Andy. Again, six big chests. Um, mm. And, you know... We can't get it. Well, no, actually, never mind. We can't actually get into Ice Palace. We cannot finish it. But I mean, Andy, the fact that he has that big key over Jam right now, which again, Jam may not ever get to, uh, it's gonna be pretty good for him. Yeah, you, you. There's obviously gonna be more big keys that appear, uh, but getting one to to Ice Palace always kind of nice especially if you're trying to start piecing things together logically yeah yeah exactly and yeah and for, for what it's worth there are you know the gold only says open six big chests right like uh mm -hmm. looking at Andy's tracker we have one two three four five six seven big keys uh Gem has one two three four five six so like it's possible right that they can be able to get that but you know like I think all the Ice Palace big chest is actually Probably more appealing than some of the other, you know, big chests out there. Yeah. You know, again, like, um, you can still certainly get, get that other goal from other ways. It's just that Ice Pal's big key is very nice. Uh, in addition, I also noticed this ahead of time. Uh, we also do have a open six small key doors in Ice Palace, which means coupled with We're that Ice Palace small key. Yeah. yeah, you really want to go into Ice Palace for many, many reasons. <laughs> Not just because the lane's here. I mean, that's another good reason to go in, but... Of course, uh, yeah. Jim in the blind fight. He's got his eyes open, though, so not blind here. <laughs> we don't even have sunglasses on. Do you think it's illegal to fight blind with glasses on? Uh, you know, is that oh, like an unfair fight? It's you allowed know? as we get a small to skull. It's allowed if you do the glitch that turns it into the rave. Um, oh, okay, okay. That's fair then, yeah. Nice mug there from Jim getting a sip of Dr. Pepper. Not sponsored, by the way. No, but that mug certainly is, though. J just so you know. It's one of the best mugs I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> so Andy going to get his Master Sword here in Meyer Shed. And uh, Jim going to do Hammer Pegs. 
So yeah, uh, this mm -hmm. this is some new check. Yeah, in addition, of course, to uh, just being able to dash hammer these things down, right? I mean, Andy obviously was was here earlier, didn't have the hammer, so couldn't do this. But also, you know, who wants to do this without a sword? You know? Exactly. Still five to four. We're forty minutes in. Usually, like clear mouse by now we it's like it's like eight to six or I know. something yeah yeah well this i mean this i think there just hasn't been that many early game goals like there, there were a lot of things that especially in light world that just like more there so the drop down was there um but like gamble game for example you know wasn't there i think a lot of the things that you also needed like early light world stuff for you also needed to do you know dark world and injunction uh, and then you know we also just see some you know some slower goals right you gotta beat three crystals 11 hearts mm -hmm. uh you know clear some tile rooms you know all these things you know they take time Unfortunately. And I, I, I did miss one. It, it was five to five. So uh, oh, Jim I'm did cool. bomb a cracked floor. It, it's like mandatory here in Thieves Town. Oh, in Thieves Town. I was like, he hasn't been a pod yet. Oh, right. Totally forgot Sorry. that was on the board. Yeah, but yeah, same, same. Usually we see that in pod. We don't see it in Thieves Town. Exactly. So. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, speaking of pod, this unfortunately is not going to be completable. Uh, however, you know, how often have we seen the key sanity modes where there is a blank and pod? Uh, there is a small key to pod in this dungeon. A there bingo? is a hammer. Uh, there, there is a bingo. Yes. Uh, we, you know, that's a bingo. A bow start with B's and also has O's. And we have flippers, you know, uh, pot potters, anyone? <laughs> nice palace time without the cane. You know, ice, like let's let's ice go palace early. Time, ice palace time without the big key on gem side as well. Yeah. Right? I don't know, man. You know, like I'm all for diving ice palace as early as you possibly can. Uh, it's like, but man, when there are two goals here, you know, related to ice palace, like especially on Andy's side, are you just gonna try and hold out for that second small key? You, you know? kind of have to, mm -hmm. I think. You know, if you're just trying to like maximize. All right, will Jim get? Are we, are we gonna hover. be able to use an easy emote? Ah. No, unfortunately. Good attempt there. It's totally free. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, but All right. We, it looks like so. Yeah, Gem also, by the way, did spin the key in the front. Um, he is certainly very capable of mimic clipping. I've seen him do it in many a spoiler log. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe not thinking it's going to be worth his time. Uh, you know, again, though, uh, it's not like we have ever seen, you know, bow locked bow uh, in this particular situation, but looks like Jem uh, at least is going to spin the keys uh, to get most of the back of the stuff. Um, so, uh, yes. gonna probably not different. And then if he wants to go to the block side as well, I think he I... is more than welcome to. And keep an eye out here. Both uh, both runners at ten hearts now. Uh, uh, check Ooh, it. Good point. Check it. Both at nine. I can count. Uh, so oh, yeah. getting ever so close. I thought there were two on the right side. That's usually how I tell. I can't count them that fast. Oh, I think so. What Faze had told me a while back is that the like, the heart on the last thing, like over the life bar, like yes, text. That's eight. Correct. So then, yeah, that's how I've always used it now to be able to count. <laughs> Imagine me knowing how to actually count things. All right, second attempt down there for ice, uh, for Hammer Yump on gem side from the top. Does get a little bit trickier, and if you fail, obviously kind of see in this case, mm -hmm. uh, it's a bit more punishing because you got to reset the super tile, which means, well, once the bridge has fallen, you got to go back down the stairs and come back up. So. All right, but that is crystal number one down for Andy as well. Both, both, uh, both Andy and Jem having one crystal to their name, and Jim of course one dark hole dungeon it. as well. Yes, yeah. like it. Yeah, and like you know, you could make the case to clear pod, like you were saying earlier, but man, it, it would be it would be rough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, slow. Yeah, right. I think the slow part might be the, the, the hard part to have to deal with because uh, it's in order to, if you don't want to open the front door, you have to do the bolock side probably, uh, I'm not actually sure, probably at least twice in order to get everything, you know, maybe mm -hmm. a third time, depending. Um, and, you know, when you're just trying to get to, again, if you, this is lockout, if you are the one who gets sniped, like Andy did earlier with lifting both rocks from Light World and Dark Worlds, you know, uh, that is, well, that is, that is your loss. We... <laughs> Yeah. The boost don't work, Santi. The boost don't work. <laughs> I don't understand why. why. 
All right, now Jim gonna head in here, gonna mimic clip force. Andy going back up the mountain. I guess this is gonna be a tower of. Oh no, he's out of here. Not yeah, happy. Well, where are we? Where are we going? Oh, nice job on Jim's side, actually. Very fast mimic clip. Go yeah, I think he it. he potion camera unlocked there. Oh, he did. Oh, never mind. I thought he actually did. Well, regardless, he got through there very quickly. Potion glitch. All right, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, looks like nothing of major value there uh, on Jim's side. Flippers. Yeah, yeah flipper, flippers were good for in, for pod, you know, basically like what? We had two keys. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of feel like the flippers are where we need to prioritize next. Uh, and Jim thinks the same. This is either going to be Hobo or Ice Palace. I, I, I think we might. Never mind. He is out of here. He did pick up half magic. I missed where that was. That was also in Paw. That was Paw, mm. uh, Ruby Basin, and left. Yeah, so there was a okay. cape and half magic in there, so that was actually really good. Uh, although it looks like maybe Jem's going to have a similar idea here uh, that Andy initially did. I don't actually remember if I saw Jem uh, rescue the old man. He probably certainly didn't because the okay. old man is a heart container, and now Andy is actually, I mean, he is one heart container away from being able to get 11 hearts from a run mail. It's true. It's very true. All right, keeping an eye on their actual item trackers. You know, we got to complete a row of Y items. Good. Or a column. Oh. Mm -hmm. We, we still have a we... bit to go. Uh, I guess mushroom counts, so a bow will finish that for both of them. The mushroom still counts even if you turn it in, right? I think. Uh, like, does it have to show up in your inventory? Question for the, the, the admins? The admins, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, my assumption would be yes, but no. Um, mm -hmm. All right, well, Sigma also bringing up uh, a good point. We, if we do find Berna, that will also complete the goal for a Y column. Uh, but in this case, yeah, like, but, it, but if the mushroom still counts, uh, then we can also complete a Y rope, which is uh, if we go find the bow as well. Yes. Probably actually more useful. Uh, that will probably, I mean, certainly that can, well, I guess Gem in this case, we need to go find another small key to go finish pod. If Andy finds the bow before going into pod, he can certainly get that Chris, that dungeon out of the way. That would be Dark World dungeon number two uh, for both of them. So far, a whole lot of nothing here in Tower of Hera. Mm -hmm. We do get a green pendant out of this. Uh, and, and, you know, Jim maybe wanting that before he goes to the pod area no though with no mirror it's a little tricky and treacherous this could be a really good opportunity for jim to maybe double back on his decision uh and go to spiral uh, i kind of get the feeling it's probably dead to him though yeah i think a lot of things <laughs> that uh i mean at least typically speaking when jim has delayed things especially in bingo it, it really mm -hmm. does seem to be the trend where, uh, well, it is delayed indefinitely until you forget where your pearl is and then you have to go back for it. <laughs> well, this is and kind of an awkward like moment, that. too, for Jim. Like, it's a third pod small here. You know, he did the back. You know, you could have maybe finished the dungeon out, you know, and you, you orphan two things that way. This this probably looks like we're going spiral. I, I'm eating my words uh, or or like staring, you know, with my mouth agape in amazement because, you know, Jem is back here in Sparta. So this is actually going to be uh, evening things up a bit. And, and Jem is going to go get his big key to ice pals we saw Andy get earlier. Uh, yes. And now he's going to be faced with kind of a similar decision as to, you know, do you want to go dive ice palace now? Uh, we do still, you know, we have the mambos to get in. You now we have the hammer. Uh, we've got the glove. We've got the flipper. So it's all logical. Or do you try and wait it out for the ice palace small key? You know, or just hope in this case that you find the ice palace small key in ice palace. Yeah, it's always such a, a hard call to make too. Mm -hmm. uh, but Jim is gonna head in. Looks like uh, either that or hobo. Andy getting twenty dollars in spike cave. So nothing. Yeah, you can see, you can kind of tell Andy, I mean, he normally has a pretty good gamer face on regardless, but, you know, I mean, so Andy may not necessarily feel great because he did, you know, he turned the, the, the purple chest without the mirror, he did Spiral Cave, um, you know, they are kind of these checks that don't necessarily feel great because there was a lot of time investment, oh, uh, Easter Palace big key chest, mm -hmm. right, that didn't kind of yield anything, and you know that, you know, 
taking long checks in regular rando probably already doesn't feel great because you've spent all this time, you know, basically yes. with nothing to show for. But even, you know, especially compared to bingo, it's it can be rough. All right, what's here, though? And that's oh, going to be... You know what? That's if, a that's If he a remembers to click it... Oh, he did click it. All right. <laughs> I didn't see anything change, but I forget we're on the delay in a mirror in Ice oh, Palace. Huge right. find that, for Jim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The problem now for Andy fine. is going to be he is going to be following Jim like in this breadcrumb progression trail type deal. Uh, so Jim in a really I think Jim's in a very good spot. He, you know, he's not showing it on the scoreboard right now, but he's right there. And I really do think that, you know, things are kind of set up for him to start taking a lead here yeah yeah well the fact that he so okay for, for what it's worth we actually no i'm looking at the tracker we in fact do actually have the swamp small uh so once he fins mm -hmm. us, finishes up ice palace he's gonna go you know still make progress you know for the uh big chest thing but then also like with that mirror they found ice palace the swamp palace is completely open it, uh, we do know that it is a five six crystal as well so that also does work towards uh pyramid fairy goal yeah I, I think i mean your assessment i think is correct here in this case gem oh, yeah. with the mirror is is in a quite you know quite a good spot now, that being said though with andy uh we can still find something here in the back of pod in one of the more remote locations uh, I assume he's going to be able, he wants to stay and at least check out most of the back. But if there's something in, let's say, like Harmless Hallway, another big key chest or anything like that, you know, when is Jem coming back yeah. here, you know? <laughs> the other thing is, do you roll the dice? You know, we talked about this. Like, do you roll the dice and see if Pod is a crystal? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that would actually be pretty good. Of course, I, like, if we can find man to find that fire rod somewhere, right? Uh, maybe, you know, Gem is also in the right place with those of you who, you know, prescribe to the rule of fire. Is this going to be free for Andy, by the way? It looks pretty free. Oh, it was. It was maybe there's not a, free. A <laughs> not free. Also, clearly, I have not gotten enough sleep. Uh, we're going to clear pod without a bow, I guess, in my mind. No, we're but... just going to find a bow in the back of pod. Don't worry. Like, mm. it's, it's always here. We, we are going to find a book, pod. though. Yeah, a book is interesting. I don't think we have any. Well, we do have Desert Palace with the entering with the book, so that is one thing that um, that Jeb can uh, find. Uh, but I don't think we had any other like break tablet or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jim. I, I like I said. I just think Jim's in a very a good spot right now. Is it a goal? Why can't I read this bingo board? Oh, there is. You know what? You know, it's it's like all surrounded by the other pink squares. I just got lost in the shuffle. Okay, so bottom, middle. Oh, right, that's middle, huge. We've got goblet. yeah. Inner Desert. That's going to be two more. So that gives him seven. He beats this. Uh, you know, he's going to be in, in Swamp. Potentially going to be sitting at a pretty uh, three crystals. And then that's another point for him. So... The yeah, longer oh, Andy's and here. Shovel. Yeah, and a shovel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like my Ice Palace. Okay, like, uh, did we say something about diving Ice Palace early? Because uh, Ice Palace is like the place to be, honestly. It is. Um, yeah. Uh, man, there are so many good things now that Jam can go do. So we can go take, uh, we can basically go into Dark World via Swamp uh, Portal or that one. We can go check Bobo's tablet. Uh, we can go enter the book, you know, enter desert via book. We can go uh, and just hop straight off, right, into, you know, entering the book in desert. Uh, and then we can go beat swamp. Uh, we can go dig up anything along the way, you know, dark world or light world with that shovel. It is going to be quite good for Tommy. Very good poke strats there, or dash poke strats uh, with mm -hmm. the master sword, no less. Uh, the Getting a little extra confidence there with the cave's always nice. Yeah. Hey, he worked hard to find that cape and half magic out of logic. Completely out of logic, by the way. No lamp, no fire rod. Yeah, so you certainly see that in this case, Andy does have uh, still uh, uh, a raw count lead to Gem. Uh, but mm -hmm. Gem is really poised in this case to take, you know, probably like, you know, two or three or four squares at this point pretty quickly. All right, so Andy not going to be using any of this small key gonna bank it jim gonna get his items here as we are spoiled by the uh the web page being ahead yeah, so he did take up three items and, and i think we did clarify that it was it does not have to be three different items it just has to be three items that you dig up yes All right. uh this yeah. is gonna be i i'd assume bombos i i i don't know 
I feel like I'd do Bombos into Desert and yeah. then, you and know, then maybe maybe check the items and then beat Swamp. It's, it's man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, so Swamp is going to be extremely valuable, right, for, you know, for, for the bingo board. I mean, obviously, certainly for Jem, because that's the one he's going to go to, because it is going to be our third crystal, because uh, we know it's a 5-6 crystal. Uh, it is also going to be our third Dark World dungeon as well. So, and he is uh, definitely in a much more, like, uh, well, in this case, like, commanding position, you know, especially compared to Andy. Palace is three different. And oh, there's our uh, Burna, really... so... Oh, that's also another Y thing as well. Yeah, Jim's about to, like, going to be right at nine uh at this point andy kind of seeing that you know getting a little bit of a reaction okay so we are getting some confirmation here uh by one of our why the the main bing lockout tournament bingo tiberius admin uh, that uh, we need three different items. So it, so it has to be three like different non-repeating items, it looks like. <laughs> so like they are three items, like in that it was three separate things you can go pick up, but it looks like we need three different ones. Um, that was unique. All right, speaking of though, all right, so Andy in Ice Palace. So this is going to be quite good for him. He's going to pick up his mirror. He's going to pick up his book, um, but... And, and shovel, but I think at least uh, Gem in this case is going to uh, have to like he certainly at least uh, got uh, got the bingo. Yes. Square locked down. Oh man, and Jim Jim is just on a streak here. Like, did he just did he just get a bottle as well? My he gosh. Did. So right. he's we're, literally we're, at ten. Yeah, we're ca we're cascading into like we're, I mean like we're Andy's snowballing like, into wow. <laughs> Idiot shambles. He's laughing oh about it, gosh, but he's just like, God, this sucks. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright, Jen's thinking. What does he want to do here? Eventually settled in this case for... I assume Swamp Palace in this case? I, okay. So actually, this is gonna be it for Jen. We can get three crystals. We can get three Dark World Dungeons. Uh, I believe then... so! It's first of 13 wins. What is the last one that he's going for? I mean, he could just go kill Aga. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, There is open six big chests, I think. I assume Jem has gotten hot. Okay, he's gotten Hera big, Pod big, these big, Ice big, Swamp big. Oh, he can actually just go beat Meyer. Or he can go open the Meyer big chest. Oh, no, we need either. Never mind. Yeah, we, we need either. Ether. So it might have to be Aga, but I mean, Aga, we are. Ether, maybe? Yeah, I mean. We're on a roll. Yeah, it is certainly going to be uh, quite uh, an uphill battle for Andy at this point. Oh, there's you know, chain this too. Mario too. <laughs> Yeah, Jim is now like he's booking it. Like we're not taking mm -hmm. any time. He knows he's in a, you know, a, a, a essentially go mode. Uh, yeah, no, I, I mean, like the fact that he actually so he knows after this is done, chances are in this case that Andy probably still has not. Well, he doesn't have the book, right? Um, and mm -hmm. probably didn't come in Ice Palace even that early, so he knows that he's at least ahead in this case. He knows he can beat Ice Palace, but once the fact that he's in Swamp here, uh, we'll pretty much just confidently tell him that he can get two more bingo squares after after this dungeon. Yeah. And then we had, you know, just now, uh, another big key in the big chest, so that up, uh, opens up another big chest opportunity. The question is, like, what, what, what's, what's faster? Like, mm -hmm. do we have yeah. enough? Um... <laughs> And, and even if we do, like, it may just be faster to kill Aga. Yeah. We've got four open right now. Uh, yeah, we have four open. So we could do Eastern and Desert, but is that going to be faster than Aga? I, I think the answer is yes. Yeah, that's actually potentially true. Because, like, Aga is, I mean, while it is a, like, couple, like, I don't know, it's like three to four minutes worth of time, it, it, it maybe it's maybe not, like, as long as my, like, people might think it is, like, it's just just because you know the icon climb doesn't have very much i would say action right mm -hmm. so we're just kind of you know going through it uh but you know even compared to some of the other times that you might go do it's it's, it's a good time investment as well yeah absolutely all right john looks like you didn't quite get the zero cycle uh it's okay 
you know, things, you know, Argus is also kind of in a hurry, uh, so, you know. Uh, we have no fire rods, so, but we did find a uh, the Omega playable temper sword on the Desert Palace torch. Thank you, Boots. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, you know, two two spins all it takes. You can see this case, yep, Gem picking up the crystal. That is uh, simultaneous two goals completed in the three Dark World Dungeons and complete three crystals. Yeah. I feel like, you know, we almost need, like, some kind of preset. You know, it's not preset. often. A, a preset for bingo. A preset, preset. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, like, to, to make it a little more open per se you know you get a linear seed like i was saying i kind of had the hunch that jim was just on the like on the track you know everything he had skipped that andy invested time in nothing came up big and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know a huge change from where we saw at the beginning of this race with the moon pearl being you know stuck in like a hard last location for uh for jim when he was down you know several points early yeah, yeah. No, no. I mean, and in fact, like, I think this is actually kind of similar to game two as well, right? Like, Andy ended up getting, mm -hmm. I think, a ton of stuff early, like, over Gem. And, you know, somehow, well, uh, Gem was able to kind of sling a swing him right back. And, yeah, it looked it looked pretty dire, not gonna lie. <laughs> but Gem skipped the Moon Pearl in Light Worlds. Um, yeah. But, you know, here we are, though. That is uh, 13 squares completed for Gem. Uh, big GGs. Sometimes bingo can end uh, a little bit empty climatically, but you know, that is the last goal uh, completed. Open six big chests. And we have our game three, all the marbles grand finals winner, Gem, taking on over Andy in the best of three, uh, two, one series. Big GG's. Yeah, huge GG's to Jim. A big congratulations on winning the tournament. Uh, the let's, whole see if, thing. let's see if we can get him in here for a bit of a discussion. Yeah, big GG is Andy, by the way, too. Like, it looks like, you know, they're both done. Uh, I mean, these guys played phenomenally well. Just happens to be, in this case, that, you know, Gem in Dark World, even though he was a bit more delayed, he, you know, he got to the important items first. Yeah, indeed. Uh, important, and even though he got the Moon Pearl last. Yeah, yeah. Worf also, I think, you know, making a, uh, I think a very reasonable assessment, right? You know, like there was an ice palace goal to open up all of the, all of the doors. I mean, you know, uh, maybe you want to hold out a little bit longer. I want to go get, you know, to do, to basically do everything at once. But, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes, sometimes uh, it, you're, you're not rewarded for your patience. All right. And we have today's winner and the bingo champion himself, Jim. GG's. Yo, Jem, GG's. Yo, thank you, thank you. Congratulations. What uh, what a landslide towards the end here. Your yeah, your momentum yeah, really picked up. Yeah, I found you just go into ice. That's what you needed to do. I mean, why did you not listen to the lane, right? Why did you not think of him yeah. the first time? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I, I even flew to there and then I was like, ah, let's go to Hera. What, what a bad decision, honestly. <laughs> uh, we are also joined by Andy, today's runner-up, GG. Yo, Andy, Hello, GG's. Hello, GG. Yo, GG's Andy. Dude, I... <laughs> you sniped me to the to lifting up a rock in the dark world. And uh, <laughs> as, I, like, as I was taking the smith to to catfish, I was like, oh, I probably should have gone and lifted that rock up first, but that's fine, because then I can do that in pot bomb floor anyways and then you sniped me to the rock and i was like okay well i'll beat him to pod he might not even have money anyways which i'm pretty sure you didn't since that goal took another like 15 minutes to get uh but i died leaving the dark ice rod screen and i was like well i'm just gonna give gem that one i guess <laughs> uh that was a big feels bad but uh but yeah this was really yeah. close until uh you know, I looked over and then Jem rattled off, uh, dig up three things with your shovel and then ether tablet and then go into desert and then three potions in like 15 seconds. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, um, usually that kind of chaos is at the beginning of these, not not the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but some uh, of ice palace just had everything. That was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I even like, like thought I about it when I, when I, I, like, I, <laughs> when I got that <laughs> when I got that first sword in Hookshot Cave. I was like, man, I could just go to Ice Palace right now. Like it'll suck, 
but I could, and then I got the Master Sword, like, right after. I was like, I could go to Ice Palace, but, like, I was kind of holding off for that second Ice Palace small. Uh, mm -hmm. And then when I got that third pod small, I was like, right, well, that's a lot of stuff in pod, so I should probably do that first. And then, uh, that was it, pretty much. <laughs> <sighs> so Andy, uh, you were the first one to Dark World and got all the you know early Dark World goals like with a you know follower to catfish and dying to catfish, etc. Uh, so certainly like, um, do you want to take a guess as to what item that was gating Jum uh, to get to Dark World? <laughs> oh, I bet it was Moon Pearl in the back of Well. You are absolutely correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, yep, I had asked the case and death. <laughs> yeah, that's why I even if I'm like not necessarily intending on getting the three hint goal i'll usually like just pay for the first one north of kakariko and bonk the thing twice so i don't do that right um but yeah like immediately when i was first all the dark world stuff like you know obviously gem could have done something else i guess i mean i pretty much like it was basically just like i didn't go up the mountain without a lamp um so i was like maybe i could beat him to some of these dark world goals but then once i got like all of them i was like okay gem probably didn't have bombs to cap well or something uh but yeah it felt really bad too because like I, before i escaped i made a return trip to cac because i didn't have bombs for it um and i like cleaned up race game library secured and lost words but i just forgot to go into the wall and i only realized afterwards <laughs> And yeah, then at some point I just I, I started farming money from the rupee crabs and was like, okay, Moonfall could be on Zora, so let's just get that goal. And then I saw you mark off the Dark World goals, but not the Zora one. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna find anything. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that's what I figured would ha what would happen because I got like the first Dark World goal as you, uh, or I like died to catfish as you paid for Zora, uh, <laughs> and I was like. Keck W in my head. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this was a fun race. It was really close up until the the end. Yeah, it was really nice seeing yeah. you guys kind of like trickle in goals instead of like you know everybody starts with like two or three basically right at the start, uh, and you know and then we we kind of thought for a while like Andy you were in like prime position you know first to Dark World you had a lot to do uh but then like it just fun like everything funneled down again for uh you know like a breadcrumb style progression seed and jim just made it seemed jim made like all the right skips except oh, oh yeah it, 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 after that one i mean he, he recovered from that one <laughs> he, he certainly did no, it was uh, it was it was really great to watch. I mean, a lot of action. Oh, those are really kind of cool seeing some of the synchronized moves. You guys both did current jump around at the same time. Actually, it was actually like a nice side by side comparison. <laughs> Who did it better? Uh, well, I got I bodied answer. by a snapdragon and almost died. <laughs> so I had to I had to pay the little squid man twice for health <laughs> refill. Legitimately, yeah, I was actually wondering <laughs> that if like if you didn't pay, like would you have actually got? I think you might have gotten the square, honestly, because I think that that's how close it was. Well, I would have died. I think I think Maybe. I only had one heart. Uh, so I legitimately could not current jump if I didn't pay squiggly man again. Um, yeah, it took me for it. I did have enough health getting there, but it took me forever to get on the right pixel because I kept moving up two frames and <laughs> screwed. Well, that's why. Up. That's why you diagonal instead. I mean, yeah, that's reasonable, but come on. <laughs> Here you go. You can <laughs> see the the runner up Juno, Rochin. She's been passed out over here all race. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> big tired. Big mood. That's big mood. <laughs> Can't yeah, be indecent thanks. on stream, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I'm glad the race was good. Um, thanks for restreaming. GG's to Gem, the first ever lockout bingo champion. All right, re rack them. Yeah, new tournament right now, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, let's, let's, here, let's, right? Just, <laughs> let's come up with like 40 more goals to put in the pool this time, though. 
Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, huge congrats to Jim uh, claiming another another tournament victory here. Yeah, that's right. Actually, so you won uh, the Doors Bingo a Beginner Tournament. I think it was early this year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So you, you go. this year. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. So I think that well, that, I assume that was sometime in January. So it's February now. Mm -hmm. You've you got another one. So, you know, by my data extrapolation, uh, trending, you know, skills, I believe you're all set for 10 more tournament wins, right? For this year? Yeah. March is, March is going to be Avian Art. OK. All right. OK. April, April is going to be Proc Champion. And then we'll see what other tournaments pop up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and then May <laughs> is the Tark tournament for Jim at that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to be an admin. No, thank you. <laughs> no. Dude, maybe, maybe I'll see Gem in finals of all of these tournaments, and we can yeah, just yeah. We, can, we can just be winner and runner up of literally everything. All right, Dante, um, hope you're comfy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll make it. We'll make it happen. <laughs> Yeah, but big, big thank you guys so much. This was an incredibly fun series to watch. I hope you guys had fun. I mean, it looked like you guys were having a lot of fun, despite yeah. it being so stressful. So, yeah. So yeah, like I actually. So I know Lockout has gotten a lot of bad feedback, but I actually thought this was extremely fun. Like super stressful, but that made it fun with all the degen routing and all the silly stuff you have to do in this mode. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, th thanks so much, Tiberius and and his crew um, for putting on this awesome tournament. Um, I, I had a lot of fun in this. Uh, yeah, it made it made yeah. normalish settings a lot more fun for me. Uh, normally, I'm like yeah, sitting right. here, resident sleepering, while I'm playing through this game with my brain off when there's no entrance or doors or enemizer or something. But uh, but yeah, lockout made it pretty much high stress, like start to finish every race, which is perfect. Yeah, that's that's what you want to have. It's super fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Dante, for putting on the entire final series. Um, I'm glad I was able so to. Thanks for listening it. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for the commentary, you two, um, both Klimos and Dante, for yeah commentating the finals together. Happy to do it. Fun watching yeah, this one back. A blast. <laughs> uh, well, uh, thank you again, guys. Uh, appreciate you guys putting on a great race for us uh shout outs to type various and his whole crew i know there's like a ton of admins over there uh i don't have the full list in front of me so um you know who you are uh <laughs> but, we appreciate uh, all the effort that you put in like i mean like adminning a tournament um it's not like there's a ton of stuff that goes on behind the scenes uh of course like all the stuff that we see right is just public facing player facing whatnot like tons of stuff to go into organization try to get all the tech stuff set up uh coordination like lots of stuff that no one ever hears about it is completely thankless work so very big appreciation oh, yeah. uh, for everything that you basically you know that you guys did to make the tournament run smoothly absolutely uh, that's gonna do it. Uh, do it here for us now. But uh, I know there's some Pog Champ races coming up this weekend, and I'm gonna try and restream at least maybe one of those. We'll see if we can get a crew to commentate them for you. But yeah, hang around for those. Um, but yeah, uh, Clear Mouse, thanks so much again. Yeah, no, it was dancing. It was a blast. Thank you so much again. Yeah, I just echoing all the, uh, everyone else's sentiments. Thank you so much for taking the time to restream this. Um, could not have gone on the air without you. So thank you so much. I mean, it, we did just had a multi up, you know, like that. That's how that's how this goes. That but, uh, is not as exciting, all right, <laughs> to be able to see this. I think the bingo board honestly is a very nice touch, you know. Yeah, just to have everything here. Um, you have very good quality restraint. So. Oh well, thank you. Uh, we're gonna go see our friend Magnet Hands. He is doing a race right now. Um, really good guy in the community. Hope you guys will go and check him out. Doing some, I think, some Crystal Cr Company asyncs. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> go say hey to Magnet. We will see you guys here hopefully soon.